Wa'il Rashid, a 28-year-old Syrian refugee and his fellow countrywoman, 23-year-old Wafa Bizan, paint a grim picture of their lives in Somalia. We came to Somalia as refugees. Life here is very difficult. Somalia is a poor country and we are poor people. To survive, they said, they rely on visiting markets and mosques, appealing to the kindness of strangers. Carrying a sign, they plead for help, but often receive only the equivalent of one or two dollars a day. Rashid says he suffers from a medical condition that urgently requires surgery, but he can't get it without financial assistance. I cannot work, and I am forced to stay at home. All I need is some help for the surgery. Both Rashid and Bizan are hoping authorities might intervene and provide assistance to Syrian refugees and poor Somalis in the country. Bizan shared her own challenges, including health issues that impede her ability to walk for extended periods. Even as I'm sitting down here now, I feel the pain. We deprive ourselves and our children of food to be able to pay rent. My children there are all sick due to hunger. It's a tough situation. Amid hardships, some Syrian refugees in Somalia have managed to rebuild their lives. Mahmoud Abdulahmid Saleh, a 40-year-old dentist and maxillofacial specialist from Syria, says when he arrived in Moadishu in 2018, he found opportunities he could not in war-torn Syria. The economic situation was bad because of the war. It's actually worse now. Despite the challenges, Saleh says he received a warm reception from his Somali hosts. After two years, he brought his family to Somalia and they've built a new life together. His children attend Somali schools and have integrated into the local community. My wife is now an Arabic language teacher at the Somali school. She works with Somali children and teaches them Arabic. She's more popular than me here. Saleh himself has established a reputable position at an Egyptian hospital in Magadishu, specializing in complex maxillofacial surgeries. For now, Saleh intends to stay in Magadishu, but he remains hopeful the situation in Syria will improve someday. For Abdul Qadir Zuber in Magadishu, Somalia, Salim Salomon, VOA News.